Clearing athletes to return to sport based on symptoms alone? Terrible idea. A common mistake in concussion care is returning athletes to high-risk activities based on the resolution of their symptoms. But research by Vagnozzi and colleagues in 2010 using N-acetyl aspartate, which is a marker for brain energy, showed that brain energy levels can stay depleted for up to 30 days after injury. Symptoms often resolve before the brain has fully recovered. A follow-up study by Lazzarino in 2012 showed that athletes who received another concussion prior to this energy recover suffered cumulative and compounding effects, which resulted in brain energy levels being depleted for now up to 120 days. So returning an athlete too soon can lead to increased risk of second impact syndrome or at the very least prolonged recovery due to unresolved metabolic dysfunction. Baseline and post-injury testing helps with making safer return to play decisions. Instead of relying on self-reported symptoms, we use an intense physical exertion test called the Chicago Blackhawks test to challenge athletes in a dynamic way, which mimics the sporting environment. If they pass, we then test them on all of the areas of brain function, and we compare these scores to their healthy baseline function. This helps to establish an objective marker of brain recovery.